it's a lovely day today. Hello, children. Little children, come on to me. Look at my blinking sweet cord. I've taken off. The sun is out. I do not know for how long. But let's see what plot we are for putting the corn on, guys. Two pairs of socks I've got on. Tracky bottoms, etc, etc, etc. And I think I have said on one of my previous videos, that's why I topped this up with compost and manure for these bad boys, I think. I'm hoping they'll do all right down there, so I'm going to set these up on the tripod and we're going to untangle these little beauties and get them in here. Back in a wee minute when we open up. Shake Clarice and get the kettle on. on. I sound as if I've got a pair of you know what, in my trousers instead of being a lady. Work that one out. Just checking for the normal heebie jeebies. And here, no heebie jeebies, thank goodness me. That's the only thing when it's cold. What's that? This just fell off. I'm too cold for a big heebie jeebies just now. Oh, hello, Sky. What you got on your face, my wee chicky birdie? A wee tricky birdie, I've not heard that for ages, right? I put water in this yesterday, so it should still be alright today. Oh, I even had to bring in my pansies and my petunias. They've got saturated, I thought they'd actually died, but I've been putting them in here at night time. Because these lovelies really do need to get red hot baking sun. And we're not getting any of it. What have we got in here? Lord Nelson infusion aroma aromatis. Oh, we'll have some of that. That sky sky granny's going to have some relaxation. Right, here we go. That's little sky, as I said in the previous video as well. And you're digging. Psycho child she is. Yeah, shouldn't have this is look back again. No, these are not for you. I actually did think, guys, that uh, my French lavender is it's not very hardy, but so far in my garden, I don't know if it's, I can't say mild winters because we get minus five, so it's not really mild winters, but no, oh, look, there's a dead slug, get out of there. And I will show you what am I going up for. I will be back in a wee minute. I'll pop these sitting here for the momento and I do indeed have to go get the tripod and I'm going to show you my tatties. I've been growing the past couple of videos about slugs and snails. I think you see what they've done to my tatties since yesterday. I was cussing my head off yesterday. Oh look, the sun is just beating down on my back just before that happens. We're going to get downpours. Look at my blinking tatties. These almost must be ready, or these must almost be ready. What are you saying? What are you saying? Demolished. 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 Almost demolished. Halfway through. My goodness me. And that was with slug pellets in these bags. Please, heavens above. Dear Lord above. Blink and bring the sun out, eh? I just wanted to show you them, and we do have, I have been eating them yesterday, but very bad, because I want to save them up for jam. That's the only good thing with the rain. These have went crazy. What is she barking at? What is she barking at, Hannibal? Right. Let's give this a little tickle over and see how many we can jam pack into this little plot. It should be thick enough. Sorry, deep enough. Oh, <laughs> back to go fuck. Show you them again. They actually should have been in. That. Now, I, normally I would put three. I know you can't see that now, but you can see it in a wee minute when I move along. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. I'm actually busting through the 
the bait paper towel. Look at that root. Um, I'm just going to go for it. You know how I like just do my own thing. I should have had three, just the three there, but I'm going to put four. Because that's just what I'm going to do. I'm putting four and I just do me, you do you. It gently does it. And I'm just going to pop that and firm it right up and I'm going to leave, obviously, the little green tip out the top. So when I've done this and had my wee cup up, what I am really going to have to do is get in and get my phone emptied. As I've got, is it one terabyte? One terabyte of space on my phone. And I got an email last night from iCloud saying my phone is full, so I more than likely have to take stuff out before I can uh, get, I think, three or four. I think I've got three or four um, videos to edit still and get up. And I have been making them, but this weather the past couple of days has been driving me up the wall, as in... The amount of damage through slugs and snails, right, spacing. If you've known me for a while, then you know I do my own spacing. You get them at the go, oh, there you go, there's a trowel's length or whatever. I just, I just go with the flow. Parabola goes with the flow. So that would be that much space between each one from there to there. And that'll do me. Hopefully, might be right or wrong for you, but you do you, and I'll do me. And with a root, what a root! Now I have to try and find some sort of a netting to go over the top of this, because she will dig that up, as in sky. And then, I might indeed get some dwarf green beans. Let me see. Some dwarf green beans in between them. What are you sniffing at, Scott Hannibal? Snorting there like a big piglington. Right, Sky Sky, watch your wee bum bum. Watch your wee bum bum. So I'm just going to carry on with this, guys, and I'll speed this up just slightly. <laughs> Twenty-four. That's what I'm saying. This little raised bed looks pretty small, but it is pretty big. That doesn't make any sense. But what I'm saying is, it's it's a lot bigger than what it looks. Right. So that's my sweet corn. In. So here we go with lettuce. Wait till I've up a wee bit. This should have been on ages and ages and ages ago. Right. That'll do us, guys. That'll do us. Right, so there we go, that's what we've got. You can just about see the sweet corn. Oh. And it ends here. I need to put a line down there. I might get some peas along the back. And in this wee section here, some green beans possibly. I'll have a look and see what Linda sent me. Swines, other beans. That just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But we are indeed getting plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh then. Some nice big fat ones over there as well. I do hope that I'm going to like these. I'm sure Roy will eat them. Ferrari, new ones are from Linda. Ferrari dwarf beans, I think I'm going to stick them in. Yes, let's go and stick them in. Oh, I had all them to put in. Hmm. Yes, they'll have to come as well. I'm going to have to try and squeeze them all in. You're coming with me as well. I think I got these for 50 centimes, like 30 pence for six or eight. And one of our wee garden centres that I picked up the compost. Let's have a look. Let's that there. Right. 
Oh, oh yeah, bugger. Let me see. These are not doing too bad, considering they've been in that plastic greenhouse for, as I said, over a week. And I haven't even been in to water them or anything, so... Fingers crossed they should take off here. Right, where's that blinking? Sweet corn. Where did I put that other sweet corn? There you go there. My goodness me, watch what you're doing. And per normal, this time of year, I have got a big, giant Cinderella pumpkin. From last year. That's needing seen to. What's that there? That's a pea, goodness me. Or a bean. Right, I'm trying to find where that other... Oh, it's in there somewhere, hang on. Right. Some string. And another two in there. And I am still... Let's well, squeeze another wee row in here, but one at a time, I think. Not got many left. Let's go and get my wee cup of tea. I'll catch you later. Have an absolutely lovely weekend, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing. To the pit.